Ok, from this green neon marker we gonna pull out the cartridge with pliers and drop inside plastic bottle fill it with water. Close the lid, shake it about 2 minutes and after that leave it to stay 1 hour. You can see that the neon liquid is coming out from cartridge. Now pour the colored water in plastic container and you will need to buy these crystal clear speed balls that grow in water. Once again you're gonna wait about couple of hours to grow the speed balls. You will need ultraviolet flashlight or bulb. If you don't have it you can make it very easy. On ordinary flashlight put some clear tape and paint with TVD marker. One coat of red and two coat of blue. Also you can do this on your smartphone flash. This is simple and effective way to get UV light. Now let's see how these speed balls will glow in dark when we light them up with UV light. Wow! They glow amazing. But be careful when you touch the speed balls with your hands. It's gonna be messy. Glowing hands. I found this clear plastic tube and I put inside the speed balls. Turn off the light and once again this is awesome. This cardboard shotgun can shoot rubber bands one by one or you can shoot full automatic all bands at once. We gonna start this project with this printed template that you can download absolutely free at description below. All the parts are cut with razor or scissors. Also you will need rubber band, small transparent piece of plastic, coin battery, red LED diode and paper glue. Don't forget carefully to cut the gaps for holding the rubber bands and gap for holding the LED scope. Now put glue on the two main body pieces, also on the shotgun handle trigger and other two small pieces. After leaving to dry the glue, join the two body pieces together and I am using two pieces 
because I want to get extra strong gun. And now you should get something like this. But before proceed to next step, you should check that the handle works smoothly. These four small pieces will be the stop ends for handle trigger, two at front and two at back of the shotgun. The handle trigger works great. Now we're gonna make the scope out of this plastic piece and you can use any sharp tool to make the engraving lines and circle on the plastic. With red LED that is powered by this coin battery, we're gonna light up the scope and you can see that the shotgun get that professional look. Once again, put some paper glue on the scope and battery coin to fix on the gun and this small piece of paper will be the switch for turning on the light. We are almost done. Put some rubber bands and the shooting party can start. There is two ways of shooting, manual and fully automatic, all bands at once. I choose automatic. One more thing, when you like extra power, you can put two bands in one gap, that way you can make more damage. Today project, refillable air duster. When you clean your PC cooler or pour something on your keyboard, you need canet air duster. Ok, you will need empty air can, or you can use any body spray can, but be sure that the can is completely empty. At bottom of can, we gonna drill a hole, enough big to place the tire valve that I pull out from old bike tire. I am using very strong epoxy glue that can hold high pressure when the can is full of air. Now. Place the tire valve, put some extra glue to get super strong and leave to dry for about 2 hours. I found this small tire pump and it's perfect for my refillable air duster. Pumping about 5 minutes and here you have refillable air can. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video and visit my channel page for more projects.